If you own a truck, boat, RV or ATV that uses dual batteries, you may have noticed that when one of them drains or fails, it negatively impacts the performance of the other. These 12-volt isolators will allow you to charge both batteries simultaneously so that ancillary features, like car stereos, winches and complex navigation equipment, don't decrease your battery life. Number 3. Keyline Smart The super small size of the Keyline Smart allows you to install it just about anywhere, whether that's under the hood of your car or within an isolated nook on your boat. Its housing is waterproof and dustproof, so inclement weather won't be a problem. As we included it on our list, we obviously think it's a model well worth considering, but it should be noted that it offers no water resistance or accommodation for inrush current from motor loads, and its design also looks like it might not lend itself to as many installation options as some others. Number 2. Worth Code 20092 The Worthco 20092 is built to give charging priority to the starting battery, though it automatically charges the auxiliary battery when needed. Its integrated surge protection is useful for cars, trucks and boats with high-end audio systems. We spent a while digging through our existing choices, and eventually determined that most of them were still good picks for the category, but we did end up doing away with the install bay 5,841,730,504, noting that it closely resembled some of our other relay-based choices, and noticing that it's no longer listed on the company's website, which led us to wonder whether this model might be facing discontinuation. Number 1. AOPEC R12140B If you already have your wiring in place, the AOPEC R12140B can be had for an affordable price, or, if you're starting from scratch, you can spend a bit more and order it with a full set of cables. They even throw in a couple pieces of shrink tubing to seal your terminals. That being said, the utility they offer is nothing close to some of the smart options higher up on our list, so please don't think that we're suggesting a disconnect as an apples-to-apples -apples alternative to an isolator. <laughs>